Hi everybody, um, I'm delighted to be here today to tell you about the Professional Masters of Education here in the School of Education UCD. Um, that's a picture of it there. Uh, we are housed in Roebuck offices, which is towards the kind of south end of the campus. And lots of things happen here in the School of Education. Um, and we offer uh, numerous different programs for student teachers, newly qualified teachers, and teachers at later stages in their careers as well. But I'm going to talk to you today about becoming a post-primary or second level teacher here in the School of Education, specifically talking about the Professional Masters of Education. So the Professional Masters of Education is a two-year full-time program. And it allows its graduates to teach up to two subjects throughout the post-primary curriculum, covering both junior and senior cycles. So sample modules that you would take, um, these are the kind of what we call our core modules, um, inclusive pedagogy and portfolio. So pedagogy is um, ways and means of teaching, if you like, methodologies of teaching. Um, you do a module on educating Ireland, curriculum and assessment, student schools and society, philosophy of education, and you do a professional placement um, in two different schools over the course of the two years. And finally, then you do what are called your methodology subjects, which uh, focus in specifically on the subjects you yourself will be teaching in school. So these modules run over the two years and the first year of the program, what we call PME stage one, you cover inclusive pedagogy, educating Ireland, curriculum assessment, student schools and society. And you will also be doing your methods throughout year one and year two. If you're interested in becoming, um, in becoming a student here on the programme, uh, you apply through what we call the PAC system and you need to find a school to do your placement in. It is the student's responsibility to find a school, but we do provide a lot of support and assistance to help you find the school that will work best for you um, throughout the two years. Um, you need to identify potential schools and these schools need to be within 100 kilometers of UCD. So you might be thinking of home, you might be thinking of UCD and you need to be thinking of your travel and your distance between the two of them. When you're applying for a school placement, you need to submit a CV and a cover letter. Your CV should be clear, concise and have your academic record on it. And your cover letter should be formally addressing the principal by name. Include two referees and make sure that your referees know that they're going to be contacted and what they're going to be contacted about. And include particularly any experience you have of working with children or young people or indeed other adults in any kind of educational setting. So any coaching experience, any experience you've had as a mentor, any experience that you've even uh, done working collaboratively and in groups that you really enjoyed are very pertinent to teaching. When you're submitting um, your CV and cover letter, make sure you have someone proofread it beforehand. And very importantly, do make sure that you present yourself well at interview. Be on time, dress appropriately, even if it's over Zoom, and uh, just be courteous and polite at all times. These are things that are very highly valued by schools and by principals when you go out. It's a very good idea that when you're trying to identify a school, that you look at the school's website, that you look at their social media presence, if they have a Twitter account or an Instagram account, often individual subject areas within the school or teachers will have accounts linked to the school. And that will give you a really um, good picture of what the school is about, what are the school's cultures and its values, and why do you want to teach there? What is it about the school that's appealing to you? It may be that it's the school that you yourself went to. And in that case, that might be something that you're very keen. It was a very positive experience for you and you wanted to go back there. Equally, you might not want to go back to the school that you yourself were in and you're going to seek out a very different experience. And so your website, the school websites are excellent means of doing that. If you've any contacts with schools, it's brilliant to chat to schools and get it to people that are working in schools and to get as much information as possible. When you then go for interview in a school, principals and deputy principals feel very confident in offering you a place if you've done your research on the school. So they will feel that they are offering a placement position to you as a student teacher because you really want to be there and that you really value what the school is about. So that's a very positive step in terms of trying to get a school placement. 
what subjects will you be teaching as a secondary school teacher if you come through the PME program? Well, in UCD, we don't cover art and we don't do um, engineering or woodwork or um, technical drawing. They're offered by other initial teacher education providers. What we do provide are the following subjects, physics, biology, chemistry, ag science, science, computer science, maths, applied maths, geography, um, all of the modern foreign languages, classical studies, economics, accounting, and business. And if you see a sub, if you're thinking of a subject that's new coming into the curriculum, such as Ukrainian, for example, um, do please get in touch with us and see uh, and indicate the year that you're thinking of entering the program. And we can see what we can do in terms of supporting you in that subject. There's a star year because as well as your curricular subjects, one of the strengths of the PME program here in UCD is the very strong connections we have to a number of outreach programs. So in addition to your teaching subjects, we have a number of co-curricular subjects that you can be involved in. So for example, digital storytelling, Minecraft. We have a community of practice at the moment now around gamification in education. Um, we have a uh, project on um, equality, diversity, inclusion in STEM. We have a project um, looking to that particularly targets um, DESH schools and empowering those students within there in, uh, to achieve their utmost academic ability. Um, over the course of last summer, we had a Ukrainian community here in UCD over the summer, and we engaged and many of our student teachers came on board uh, to provide new lessons in English language, um, they we organized a number of days for the families to go on and the students took part in that. So there's a very kind of complete and very enriching program here in UCD um, that will empower you to teach more than just your subject in a school, but that you're genuinely um, teaching students, teaching the children in front of you and really being part of a wider um, whole school curriculum in the school. So what would a week look like in if you were a PME one student here in UCD. Well, over the course of trimester one, September to Christmas, and then trimester two, um, Christmas to May, uh, as a PME one student, you will be coming in and out to UCD at the same time as you're on your school placement. On a Monday, you're available to schools in the morning, and then you need to be in UCD from two to five for mandatory tutorials and lectures. Tuesday, you're fully available to school in the morning. Uh, there are some subject specialisms that are held on a Tuesday afternoon or evening. On a Wednesday, you're available to schools in the morning. And then depending again on your subject specialisms, you may be in on the Wednesday afternoon. Thursday, there are lectures core lectures that all students attend in the morning from nine till one. You may also have methodology lectures in a Thursday afternoon. And on Friday, you're available all day to schools. Now, when we say that you're available to schools at these times, you are required as a student teacher in PME one to do between four and a half minimum and a maximum of eight hours as part, per week as part of your school placement. So your school will get your timetable from UCD and they will look at building um, the lessons that you will be um, co-teaching in throughout the year um, around that timetable. Now, just to advise, for many students, um, a student could be in on a Monday afternoon and a student might not then be in until a Thursday and they'll have, they could be in university from nine until seven o'clock because that's when their methods lectures fall. Alternatively, you could have a student in, all students be in on a Monday afternoon, you could have somebody in on a Wednesday and then on a Thursday morning and then they would be available on a Thursday afternoon. The UCD timetable in terms of the methods lectures is fully finalised in August. We're not able to finalise it prior to that because we need to work around you guys, our student teachers who come in and the particular mix of subjects that you have. So we have to make sure, for example, that if a student has physics and maths, the physics and maths aren't on at the same time. Um, but our placement schools are very familiar with how things work in UCD. We're one of the largest PME programs in the country and we work very closely with them. And that's a big part of my job is communicating with schools. So if you find yourself having a conversation with the school and you feel like, oh, I'm caught in the middle between school and UCD, always feel free to contact myself or to contact the school or to give my details to the school. And we can try and have a conversation to make sure that 
your timetable in UCD and your timetable in school are workable for you and you have to allow your travel time as well from UCD to school and vice versa. So it's a busy week and it keeps you going. What's really important about the way the program is set up is that by being in UCD um, in parallel to being in school, it allows you the, the time and the space to take what you're learning in UCD and apply it directly into, into your practice in your school. Similarly, you're in school, you'll be met with so many different challenges and so many different opportunities and so, many, so much learning on a daily basis. You get to come into UCD and talk to your lecturers and talk to your tutors and talk to your fellow student teachers and tease all that out. It's a busy course. You have UCD with all the academic demands of the professional master's program. You'll be in school. Your school will be looking to you for things. They'll be asking you perhaps if you can cover some extra classes, which you will get paid if you're in a school to do that, to cover classes above your UCD hours. And then at the same time, you have your own personal life going ahead. And often you're caught at the intersect of these three demands that are being placed on you. And we are highly aware of that here in UCD. Teaching is a caring profession, and we really instill those values throughout the PME. We offer you support through numerous different mechanisms. You will be in a small group every week with your tutor, with your tutor a group of about 15, and you'll be in that same consistent group throughout your year one and usually in your year two as well. Tutorial allows you that smaller group experience to be able to talk about the challenges that you're facing, to be able to talk about the new learning that you've had and the wins that you've had. And also you form a very close relationship with your tutor. Your tutor will come out and they'll be the first person to watch you teach. And they don't grade you on that visit. They just sit down, they have a chat with you. They talk about how everything's going and they talk about things that you need to put in place to work out how you're going to sustain yourself through PME1. We also have on the, in the School of Education, um, a marvellous programme called STSP. And you'll see more of that when I show you our EdgeConnect website. And what STSP does is that it offers tailored support to students, one-to-one -one and in smaller group settings. These are for students that are, just feel that they need that extra bit of contact and extra support in order to help them navigate any of the challenges from UCD, from school or from life that we can support. And then within the University of UCD, you will know about your student advisors as well and the services that are on offer there too. Throughout the programme, all of your methods lecturers, your core methods lecturers, um, the likes of myself on the PME program that run the program, we are very open and have an open door policy with our, with our students. And we engage in a lot of listening and a lot of support. Um, any students that you've spoken to, that you'll speak to that are on the PME program will tell you about the level of support that we offer to students. And this is another example of the support that we have. We've designed a specific website around the PME program um, called educonnect.ie. And on this website, you'll find loads of information about school placement. There's the school placement hub. The information that you would receive an induction is there. There's um, a template for writing your CV. There's a template for writing a cover letter. And it's all laid out very clearly. The student handbooks for the programmes are also available there as well. And going into the student handbook will give you more detail about what about your expectations around the programme and about what we're looking for in terms of assessment structures as well. Nearly all of the staff on the PME programme are um, UDL facilitators, so Universal Design for Learning. And you may be familiar with that from some of the undergraduate programmes that you've taken. Um, what UDL means is that we look to make learning as accessible as possible and means that we're looking, to, we always look to create assessments that are varied and interesting and are actually purposeful so that when you do an assessment at the end of it, you go, actually, that was really useful for me, whatever about doing it just you know, to tick the end, of, to tick a box and get a grade and that they're enjoyable and that they're engaging. Um, we're in the business of education. We're in the business of making it motivating and engaging and enjoyable. And that's really the foundational principles of our PME programme. 
So our School of Education website is ucd.ie forward slash education. That'll take you to the School of Education and then another forward slash for PME for the Professional Masters of Education. The um, Postgraduate Application Centre there is the PAC system. That's what you apply through for the PME and UCD. And any inquiries that you have can be sent in to education at ucd.ie. So that's down to the PAC system. So they should be getting notification in April. And then once you um, are offered a place, uh, the email goes out from here from the School of Education and you'll be given some Google Forms to complete for yourself and for your school to complete. And we do offer support then throughout the summer. We have webinars and Zoom meetings then for students that um, or need help with finding a school. Many students will often go back to their old school and their school knows them and it's a very simple process. But for students that are sometimes trying to, um, you know, are, aren't from within 100 kilometers or Dublin, are, are looking for a different experience. And just in um, week, we provide loads of information around schools and the types of schools and can help you narrow down your search. So per week, it's four and a half to eight hours for their school placement hours. As I said, um, there is a shortage of teachers at the moment in the country, which means that there's great opportunities for teachers at the moment and for new teachers coming into the profession. Schools may offer additional paid work to teachers, but that's outside of your UCD remit. So four and a half to eight hours of, pra of um, practice in schools. And then it is, um, just working it out now, uh, five and eight and yeah it's around 12 hours then of lectures then per week year two you are in ucd for the first term until christmas and then after christmas so from january to april you are on block placement in your school and you're you write up uh, your dissertation in that time so you're not traveling in and out to ucd um, in trimester two of your pme two year the thesis can sound quite scary. It's a small thesis that we do here in UCD. It's 6,000 words, and it is based on your own reflections over your two years in your practice. Reflection is a huge part of teacher learning. So this year now, currently, I have a student who's looking at gamification in his classroom, so using games for learning. I have a student who's looking at the use of memes and humor for student learning. Um, we have, I have a student who's looking at teaching sustainable development goals um, through science. I have a student who's looking at parental interaction, so having parents involved with homework exercises. Um, the thesis is lovely because really what happens is that in year two, by that stage, you spent a year in school, you spent a year in UCD, you've heard all the theories, all the policies, and you're in that view of being in the classroom as well. And your thesis will usually come from where you feel there is um, a, a conflict between maybe what you're being told in terms of theory or in terms of policy and then what's happening in, in schools and an exploration of why there is a conflict there usually makes for really interesting thesis work and um, the students uh, really usually enjoy the thesis the, the, the themes are huge um, some students will decide to maybe look at specific um, learning difficulties. Some students might decide to look at, you know, whole school culture, the use of sports in schools, um, all of it. It's, it's, it's very, very wide and varied. I, I think the fact that you have so much research and innovation coming on and you've got such that mixed with such good connection with practicing in school teachers, there's a real um, coming together. It's a very, it's a large program of professional masters. So that also means as well that you get to experience so many different viewpoints. When you're in tutorial, you'd be hearing from teach from your fellow student teachers that are all in different schools, and hearing the different perspectives, the learning that you go through um, in terms of your own mindset is is really powerful. It's a really strong program because you are in school and you're in UCD at the same time. You get tremendous support here in UCD. I have to say the quality of lecturing is very, very high. The quality of our tutors and supervisors is very high. Our tutors 
and the supervisors that will be working with you throughout the year, our methods lecturers engage in ongoing professional development throughout the year. So we are ourselves, our, all staff are constantly looking at their own practice and reviewing it and updating it. We look for your feedback as students. We take that on as, we take that on very strongly. Student voice is very, very important to us. And ultimately, everything we do is with the aim of improving the outcomes for the children that you yourself are going to be teaching in the classroom. And if you're looking for a career that will fulfill you personally, and you are the type of person that you enjoy working with others, you enjoy seeing outcomes and you enjoy being able to see and affect change um, at so many different levels, um, teaching is a brilliant career to be part of.